better late than never. Isn't that what they say? I am a little bit late to my February makes and my March um, plans, but if this is something you are interested in, please stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Holly. This is Hollywood Wear. Um, for those of you who are new, thank you for coming by and seeing what I'm about. For those of you who are returning viewers and subscribers, Thank you for coming on back. You know, here you might see a plethora of things. I am a sewist. I am a fashion enthusiast. So you may see a pattern haul or a fabric haul and things that I have made, things that I have bought and put together, maybe fast fashion, maybe ready to wear. Um, maybe I'll throw in a shoe review or a bag review, but it's always gonna be on a budget and always fashion related. So if that is something that interests you, please subscribe below. Put on that notification bell because I have weekly videos that don't I want you to miss a thing and give this uh, video a thumbs up comment below um, so that I know that you are here watching and if you like it or not that way I know you love it and I'll continue to make more content all right so we always start off all of the videos well showing my outfit of the day so my outfit of the day today is I actually um, was one of my uh, February makes. So the skirt that I have on is actually from McCall's um, pattern M7983. That was that pencil skirt with the uh, back zipper. So I have on that today. I have it. It's like an eggplant kind of a faux suede material. I got this material, I believe, at a, um, it was a thrift store actually. Um, I went out of town and there was like bulks of fabric that I picked up and this was one of the ones that were in it. Thankfully, it was enough to make this skirt. So I was very, very happy about that. So I have paired it today with this um, uh, silky kind of a satin, it's like a satin cotton material, rayon, let's say it's rayon, um, uh, houndstooth black and white top. Um, black and white is it's trendy now. So I do have on this top. I think I believe I had got this from um, Zara or H&M. I think it was Zara that I picked this up at. Everything I will link below. I have on this green vest. Love this. Um, uh, like kind of a uh, block uh, pattern top uh, vest. And it's a sweater vest. And I actually got that from a uh, company I am um, called Lovely and Blush. Great company has really trending, really, really um, uh, stylish clothing at a very, very good price. This was very, very reasonable. Um, they have um, just the prices are just great. The quality is great. Every time they send you an item, it will be in a pouch like this. And I love that because each individual piece is in a pouch like this. Um, if you use my code Hollywood10, you actually can get 10% off of your whole purchase. So I will link that below. But as you can see, I have paired that together. Um, and then I've also um, paired it with uh, just a pair of my black and gold um, uh, square toe strappy sandals so that is my outfit of the day i love the way the skirt turned out i like the zipper in the back i'm i'm a you know if anybody who knows me i love a zipper i love a statement zipper um especially in the back and it just really really uh, gives a little bit of something extra um on the skirt so um I made it a little bit, uh, it, it, I kind of made it in between. Um, I didn't want it to go too far into the calf because again, that cuts off my, uh, my leg at the heaviest part and makes me, my legs look thicker than they are. I don't need, I don't need any help in that department. So I put it just a little bit under the knee. Um, but yes, I'm just in love with the pattern and that, that skirt definitely. Um, I also have on, um, just some earrings. I have some black earrings that I don't even remember where I got these from. I get, I don't even want to lie to you and tell you. I have no idea where I got these from. So um, just some, you know, just some uh, hoop, dangle hoops that I have on. I have on, of course, my Brighton bracelet and my Apple Watch. Um, and that is it. That is my outfit of the day. Oh, and then I also forgot about my belt. I have on a black and um, there's like gold um, belt and I believe I got this belt from 
H&M. I believe I got this belt from H&M. Again, if I have any any links, if they still have any of these items, I will link that below. All right, so let's get into the rest of my February makes. All right, so um, another item that I had made in February was um, a pattern that I used, uh, and I made a skirt before uh, my African print and Cara um, fabric. Uh, maxi skirts and that was pattern McCall's M152 and as you can see I have used this I've actually made this uh, in February I made two skirts um, from this pattern and I just love 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 the skirts so I made one of them um, and I bought the fabric from House of Mommy Wanta it's um, an Etsy shop um, I get all my African uh, print fabric from them, my Ankara fabric. Um, I will link that below as well. But um, as you can see here, um, I have the yellow and blue one. Um, and I, I just love the way it fits. I actually um, made the top myself um, uh, with the rest of the fabric to kind of go along with that. Um, I love just love these skirts. I just love them because you can dress them up, dress them down. Um, as you can see, um, I put them on with um, some sneakers um, and I really like that you can dress it up or down. Um, the second one that I made, I made it in this beautiful, just gorgeous and I could not wait. Um, and that's one of the ones, the skirts I'm actually going to take to my trip on, in Paris. But it is this beautiful black and white and um, maroon, reddish maroon um, color with the peacock. Um, I actually uh, also made the, the top going with it as well in that beautiful burgundy uh, crepe fabric. And I, um, that one is pattern Vogue V1486. Um, so I, I've made this top before. I've made it um, a couple of times before, but um, I used it that time in the uh with the burgundy fabric so i paired that together um an that's another one you can like i said i like the these skirts because you can wear some heels with it you can wear um like a you know strappy heel you can wear it with some boots um so as you can see here i actually um paired it with some um, with some boots to kind of have more of a kind of a feminine and masculine uh look together um Again, you can wear it with some sneakers. I just love these skirts because you can just do so much with them. Um, so that is what I have on. Uh, that's what I use with the, this uh, pattern. I love this pattern as well um, for the skirts because it's really easy. It's really simple. It takes quite a bit of fabric, but um, it. I really, really like um, making it because I can do it so quickly now. I think... Um, I believe for the skirt that I use, I, I do like a high-low mix of it. Takes about four yards of fabric. Um, but I love the high waist. I, I like the way it snatches in your waist. If you have trouble area in your tummy area, the rouging really kind of hides that area. So love those skirts. Love how it came out with that fabric that I had bought and I had showed that fabric before. So um, I hope you like that one as well. All right, let's see what was next. Okay, next I made um, this top that I made. It was a um, mix between, it was a, a hack that I did when I had did my own thing as far as the statement sleeves. Um, so it was McCall's M8003. Um, I used a white crushed velvet, uh, sorry, not white, cream crushed velvet um, fabric for the top part. And then I used a uh, uh, cotton broadcloth for the sleeves and the sleeves was um, that you know the simplicity um, hack you can make the uh, the different sleeve um, uh, you know variations on your own um, and so I put them together and kind of made my own hack simplicity um, 8506 I have to put it in this bag because <laughs> I use this so much and it's a lot of pattern pieces that once you cut it out but yes that's what I did so I kind of combined the two made the top love the way it came out it's just I get so many compliments on that on that top I just 
absolutely love it um so i think i am definitely going to do it again in a different color in a different color way um but as you can see here uh i had paired it with uh, a pair of jeans um my cream gucci belt and um it just came out really really nice it was it's very classy um you know the, the statement sleeves the puffy sleeves um are on trend right now also the cutout anything cut out for 2022 that is a thing as well so with the cutout and the statement sleeve um both of those things were are, are trending now and so um that's why i made that top and i really really liked the way it turned out I made another one from M8003. I actually had used um, a co another contrasting um, fabric. I used, it was like, I had bought this fabric, the, um, the kind of a uh, rose black uh, stretch um, knit fabric that I actually got as a remnant. So I used that and I contrasted it with the rib knit um, mauve um, uh, fabric as well and I used it and I made a um, I made it a for both of the ones both of the tops that I had made so I, I remember I told you I was trying to do more tops this year because I was lacking on my tops so that's kind of what I was doing in February making more tops um, so I did both of those and um, I I you know just pair it with a pair of jeans um, pair with a, a black skirt something like that so i just really like the way that that turned out because again you can dress it up you could dress it dress it down um and the contrasting um i really like so that is probably one of my favorite tops to make the um the m8003 it really is one of my favorite tops to make because i just feel like it's just so versatile um the different kind of variations that that you can make with it and lastly, um, I had did a video on this as well. I made um, the uh, a bodysuit from um, the same pattern from the, the skirt that I have on M uh, McCall's the seven nine eight three. I made the bodysuit. I did the three quarter sleeves, and I made it with this um, the uh, sheer um, fabric. Um, it's like the nude skin tone. Uh, mesh stretch fabric from Joann's. It's the dot, um, the dot fabric. So I used that and then I used like a faux leather for the, um, the collar. So I really like the way that it came out. Um, I, I, I just feel like it's just really, really classy. And then I just put on, you know, a little cami underneath it. And I had wore it with um, a skirt that I had actually um, got from the company Lovely and Blush as well. So um, I used it then. I had, think I had wore it with the pair of jeans um, as well before. So um, that was something else that I had made. All right, so those were all of my makes. I made some um, other things that I had made in February. I was really focusing on making um, clothes because I, I know I had said that my daughter was having a baby. Um, so my new grandbaby is coming. So I've been making her a whole bunch of stuff So because um, uh, for her baby shower. So that was basically what I've been, I've been doing. I was doing in, in February. I was doing a lot of makes for the baby. So that was you know february so now let's get into what my plans are for march makes are going to be so the first thing that i'm planning on making is butterick b6742 i had uh, mentioned before when i got this pattern that i'm making the linen pants um i'm probably going to have them a little bit cropped um but i'm going to do that in a white and it was a white quill fabric that i had so i'm going to be making that so look out for that because you can use um, like a lightweight li linen, uh, stretch wovens, poplins, those kind of fabrics. So it doesn't take a lot of fabric, about about two yards of fabric for the pants. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do it a little bit cropped um, and I can't wait to, to uh, sew that up. Uh, next, I am going to be making um, McCall's M8100. Um, and I had showed this a few months ago. I'm making um, a pair of shorts. It's I actually have a green fabric 
that's a, like this hunter green color that I'm going to be just making some pull on shorts that I can wear with this vest. Um, and I think I have another green like off the shoulder top that I'm going to be making as I mean, I'm not making that I have that I'm going to be pairing with that. So I'm probably going to make those up and I, I'm going to try and take those to Paris. Um, if it's a little cool that I could probably put it on with some some tights underneath it um, and like some combat boots and then, um, you know, maybe this uh, this sweater vest and maybe something underneath it um you know black top or something like that so i'm excited about that again this one doesn't take that much fabric it takes a yard of fabric one yard for uh the, the shorts and um you can use charmeuse um cotton blend stable knits chalets um the fabric i have for it is like a lightweight linen fabric um and so i'm i'm okay with that because i wanted a pair of like linen shorts um I think that you guys remember this, hopefully this pattern, Vogue pattern 1844. I'm going to try and finally make this dress. I cannot wait to make this dress. Um, I think I'm going to make it in a denim, actually, a denim dress. Um, and I'm going to put some gold, gold buttons on there. So I finally figured out what kind of fabric I'm going to use for this. So I'm super excited about this because I've been wanting to make this dress for some time. So I'm, I'm going to be working on making that and probably making more dresses, um, uh, this month as well. Um, McCall's M8043. Um, that was this top here. This is going to be for my um, Paris trip. I'm making B. That's kind of what I'm working on right now. I'm working on all items for my Paris trip for the most part um, that I'm going to be sewing up. So you'll see a lot of those makes for March and for April um, until it's time for me to go on my trip so that I can start making pieces and um, getting them ready for my Paris trip. So I am making this top. Um, this one calls for a little bit of fabric. Um, for B, it calls for, for my size, two and a half yards. Um, Charmeuse, crepes, crepe back satin, chalets. Um, So I actually got a, um, it's like a rayon um, uh, crepe material that I'm gonna be using for this one. Um, I have an olive green and a burgundy. So I think I might be making two tops out of um, of this, this uh, pattern. So I'm gonna have two of these. I love the bow detail. Um, on it so I might make A and then make B but it's basically the same thing A and B I think it's just A is tight in the back and B is tight in the front so I really think it's the same thing but we'll see how it how it ends up turning out now I have a lot of plans for March but I don't know if I'm gonna get through all of these but again I have um, I'm gonna try and get as much done as possible <laughs> in this month um, so next I'm gonna be making Butterick uh, B604 for this wrap dress super excited about that i'm gonna be making this in a black um uh, uh ponty knit um fabric so because i do need a black just a black wrap dress basic black wrap dress because i can throw it in my bag for for paris and just go and so i'm really excited about that because i've been wanting a black wrap dress for the longest time and, and i'm so excited about making up this pattern so um again this is a very easy pattern it only calls for two yards of fabric um and it is for two-way stretch knits only so that's why i'm using um the ponty knit um uh for this one i have bought fabric before and it wasn't enough and i couldn't find any more it was a stretch fabric with like a cheetah print so if i have enough i might break it up and maybe make the cheetah pattern for either the skirt or for the top and then the ponty knit uh black as well and then um, you know, be able to use it because I really, really, really want to use that fabric for this dress. It is so gorgeous. So look out for that because I'm, I'm hoping that I have enough to either make the top or the bottom part at least. And lastly, I am going to be making Butterick 6242. And I showed this long time ago. I'm finally going to get to this one. It is this um, B. I love it's a vintage 60s retro but this dress here i just love the way it looks it just looks so classy and chic with that like the bias the the um the sleeve almost kind of like a boat neck kind of um situation there um and it, it just i'm loving this dress so i cannot wait to make this i am making this dress i got a uh, like a light 
blue uh, knit um, uh, stretchy knit because I need I I can't be in denial anymore. I need to use stretch material for all of my makes so I'm going to be using that for this so see how that turns out because it calls for broadcloth crepe wool jersey um light lightweight woven or stable knits so that knit is a is a pretty firm stable knit so hopefully that comes out good it's an average um it's average and I think it's just because of the way it's uh, cut on a bias and it has a hidden zipper um, why this is considered an average make. So I'm looking forward to making that. So that is all of my makes. That's my plans. That's what I did in February and that's what I'm making in March. So stay tuned for that. I cannot wait to make that. Um, and like I said, getting my my pre my um, Paris trip uh uh, outfits together um so that we can kind of go through that and then as i make it i'm gonna be you know packing it away so keep an eye out for that but anyhow i think that is everything thank you guys so much for joining me today um i will see you next time you have a great day Peace.